Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am a real world private pilot and an aerospace engineer. Today's topic for this video is going to be how to get the PMDG777 up in the air as quick as possible. It's a long haul aircraft, takes a while to set up, I know, but we are going to go over how to set this up in a relatively realistic manner, but still very quickly. All right, so without any further ado, let's start prepping this thing up. We are in the cold and dark GPU state. So if you go to the FMC PMDG setup, you'll find the cold and dark GPU state. So let's start prepping this thing up. Uh, first thing you'll do is batteries to be on. Again, we are not going to follow the actual airline flows, but we'll just go with it um, as it makes sense. So let's first uh, connect the battery. So batteries should power all of these displays and the FMCs, uh, but it takes a little bit to come up. Anyway, let's connect the external power as well just because we have that available and while we are here let's also start the APU remember this is to make sure that we are starting everything up as quick as possible so we are going to do the full overhead panel um, run through real quick emergency lights can go armed and all the window heats can come on C1 and C2 electrical hydraulics can come on all of these can go auto the demand pumps uh, no smoking and seat belt signs can go on auto as well uh, logo lights and wing lights we don't need that anti-ice we don't need it we'll turn on the pressure uh, fuel pumps as well uh, i think center pumps need to come on for this flight because it's a long one and i think that should be it all right so once you're done with the overhead and once you have the fmc access which we do now the displays are still starting up meanwhile let's save some time and go to the efb let's load in our sim brief flight plan i had already um i had already filed the plan on vet sim by now and i am i have also loaded it in sim brief so let's load that in everything looks good get the departure weather from here real quick 3006 is our um q and h uh let's go up here let's turn the air derues on let's turn the ife seats and cabin utilities on all of that is good all right i think we can go to our fmc now so while the display is starting up let's increase the fmc brightness let's go to fmc here position initialization and soon as soon as the display start up we should have our position initialization option here oh, there we go we have the option to put in our inertial position you copy the gps position put it in here uh, k s f o right in there route we we'll go to route request sim brief we'll set our payload we'll set our fuel clear clear and then we'll select route that should request our uh, that should request our route and that should uh, start loading in remember i started the apu because we want to get out of here as soon as possible so i don't want to waste time later on in starting the apu and all that anyway uplink is ready we hit load and that should load things up in just a moment it's a long route so it takes a little bit okay i think that should be it so you hit activate execute so route is loaded if you go to legs page, legs page you will see that uh, let's bring up our tablet here so that we are quicker with things our initial cruising altitude is 290 let's go to our route we're taking off from 28 right so i'm gonna go to departure and arrival uh, 28 right and then our departure is going to be this one and orca we are transition let's see if we have that we do all right execute departure arrival go to arrival page and then our arrival is going to be on 30 left so ils 30 left and boot dev 3d and all dot i don't know what our transition will be well let's just execute it for now and that should be it then you go to route data wind data load so it's requesting for the wind data over the flight plan and that's it execute and then you go to vnav page next page next page forecast load i think we need to also request this here all right so descent forecast uplink is is ready we hit load on that and then we hit init ref 
all right oh we need to go to the performance initialization here double click on the Z uh, on the ZFW uh, push button that should fill your zero fuel weight up uh, cost index all of that should be fine 2900 is our initial uh, altitude let's go to the takeoff performance calculations real quick uh, I think we're taking off from 28 right and import from aircraft our CG is 23.25 so let's accept this 23.25 right in there and uh, let's do our takeoff calculations real quick right so flaps 15 is what we're gonna go with and our selected temperature is going to be 37 so you put that in here take off flaps 15 if you click on CG the CG will automatically get populated and you will have your trim value right here V1 is going to be 169 uh, 177 that's correct and 182 that's matching and correct as well alright so that is good so we are done with all the prep on the FMC here so let's go up here and adjust the MCP as well so this will set it to V2 which is 182 Flight directors, both of them will come on. This goes right to our 29,000 cruising altitude. Or if you have a final altitude on your departure, you can set that in here as well. Uh, let's set our heading bug to whatever our runway heading is. I'm just looking at it here and making it parallel to the runway. It should be 284, I think, but doesn't need to be that accurate. Anyway, let's go back home. Let's keep it on our OFP. Bring it in here set our QNH which is 30 I really hate this smooth QNH setup always overshoot on that one 3006 should be our QNH okay it shows that APU is running the only warning message we see here is engine shutdown so let's go through our short checklist real quick so pre-flight oxygen we'll assume that is checked don't need to flight instruments good and we'll set the parking brakes since now the hydraulics are active okay parking brakes set as well uh, before start flight deck doors uh, we'll verify that here it's still good to do this short checklist so that if there's something that you're missing out on you'll catch it yeah all the flight deck doors are closed and locked mcp is set up takeoff speeds are good cdu pre-flight is done trim is fine taxi and takeoff brief briefings are done and we'll turn on the beacon lights because we're about to start the engines all right uh before taxi we'll do that later but that should pretty much be it i think we are almost there on starting the engines up all right so the next thing you'll do is we will make sure that we don't have any ground equipment connected right so you go here to uh, ground connections and then you release ground power and you remove uh, wheel chocks so there you go so now we don't have any ground power connected you'll see that the secondary and ex uh, primary external power switches do not have a veil light on APU is on uh, everything seems good here so at this point I think we are good to go to start our pushback and startup so GSX guys are loading things up here so we are at roughly around nine minute nine minute uh, nine minute point here on the video and i'm already ready to push back this is the fastest and the most realistic way to get your triple seven up in the air all right so pushback truck is coming in while this is going on i would set up my i mean you set up your transponder code way in advance but when you're doing your uh, cdu stuff you'll also set up your transponder if you're flying on VAT sim, right we will release parking brakes. Engines are clear. Start at will. So we'll start the left. Oh well, right one first. Wait for this thing to start ramping up. There's the rumble. Should be good enough to get the fuel in. might have forgotten to push the push the jetway away but I don't know 
think this is a little too close. One sure if it was connected or not. I think it wasn't because as soon as you have all of this grayed out, that means that nothing is connected. All right, so right engine is slowly coming up. That switch has reset to norm, so I can start the left one up. There it is, I can give it some fuel. Coming in healthy as well, the second engine. Sounds beautiful. Okay, so while that's going on, auto brakes can go to... Please set parking brakes. That's really loud. That's annoyingly loud. I tried to. I tried to. Uh, let me set parking brakes. All right. So while they are disconnecting, we can set up everything. I think logo, wing lights can come on. Runway turn off lights can come on, and uh, flaps can start going to five. Already have the speed brakes to RTO, so that is good. Anti is good, recall good, flight controls don't need to check, shouldn't be a problem. Ground equipment is all clear. Uh, flaps will be set to 15 and that should automatically tick out. Alright, there we go. That's complete and then that's uh, after takeoff checklist. So, that was it. And all you need to do now is turn off the APU because you have the air coming in from the engine. You also have the electrical power coming in from the engine. Um, and everything is ready to go so on the clock we are at roughly what is it 12 13 minutes in total time um, that's that's pretty much what it took to get this thing ready to go yeah. mostly I just use my sim to set up a flight and then that that gives me some time to do some focused work or study yeah I hope that helped you guys out and uh, if you like this video please make sure that you leave a like that was it for today thank you so much for watching and uh, giving me your time and I will uh, see you on the next video